Okay, you say that if I drink this, I will boost my VO2 max, push up my FTP, have younger looking skin, and grow my hair back. Okay. Oh, that tastes like iron brew. I always knew that drink could do everything. Okay, I'm joking around a little bit, but are you guilty of going online and looking for potions, tablets, you know, systems that are going to improve your health just by taking them, give you that younger looking skin, basically extend your life expectancy and boost your health. A lot of people fall into that trap thinking that a tablet or a drink is going to correct all the shitty things that they have going on in their life. But all longevity studies focus on lifestyle. Your lifestyle is going to play a huge role on your health. In fact, 90 to 95 percent, that is a huge level which leaves a very small amount for genetics. Much less than we previously thought 10 to 20 years ago. So in this video, I want to share with you 12 quick little points that you can check in with. I do that, I don't do that. I'm going to try that. I'm going to summarize them very, very quickly. But if you want them in more depth, join me in my school community. There are different membership levels available. There is one there for you. This is the fastest growing cycling community on the internet. And we don't sell the good shit on there, okay? We give it away for free here in YouTube. Right, okay, let's kick things off. Number one, I call this the Kinetic 8, 10, 12 plan. And this is about calorie intake during the day. Studies have shown that if you have a 50-50, therefore a 12-hour period in the day whereby you start and finish taking calories, you can improve your longevity. Now remember, longevity of health will boost fitness. No matter how many hours a week you train, you need to have the foundation of the health metrics that will allow you to train and absorb the training. So try that. Start, for me, it's usually a 6 a.m. start, 6 p.m. finish, around about that. I will eat again at 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 3 p.m., and then again at 6 p.m. And that takes me into number two, how many meals you have in the day. Traditional, a lot of people have two or three meals, huge big meals, but if we use the science of absorption, 50 to 90 grams of carbohydrate per hour, 15 to 20 grams of protein per hour, you can actually break those meals, those five meals into smaller meals, come on. A lot of people eat like fat bastards, as we say, right? You're having too much in one meal. Therefore, you're not absorbing it as well as you think you are, and you're storing a lot more that's still in the system when you have the next meal, okay? Now, workouts, we know that. 20 minutes, that window when we start the cool down, we've got a 20 minute period where the body is starting to make that shift into the catabolic period, and that needs fuel. So don't have this mindset crazy setup whereby you're going to deprive yourself of fuel because you're trying to lose weight, right? That will happen with a consistent plan of good nutrition. But you need to fuel with carbohydrates. Ideally, 20 grams in that first 20 minutes. Get the catabolic stage fueled up. Within 90 minutes to two hours, you want proteins. You want to allow your body's blood flow to change flow back to the gut, allow your nervous system to come out of that fight or flight so that it's in rest and digest. Increase the absorption, get that protein ideally as a solid, ideally within the two hours. You want to replace all the fluids, okay? So the fluids that you've lost, and you want to do that in four hours. So you're weighing in and weighing out. It's sweat loss, not weight loss. And ideally over a day, you're looking at two liters, sipping, Okay, not gulping down just because it's got later in the day and you haven't drunk that water. And don't give me that bullshit that it's too hard for you to drink. I'm at work, they don't allow me to drink. I don't wanna drink all that, I'm gonna to go to the toilet. Get your body used to it just by sipping, not by necking a whole pint, thinking you're some macho guy standing at the bar. Look at me, <laughs> okay? Now the next thing is alcohol. You gotta cut it out. You gotta give yourself a period whereby you're not gonna take it on board. I know that's a shock to a lot of people, but if you're really looking to improve your fitness, therefore driving up your health, 
you got to remove anything that you know is toxic or poison. I know there are limits to what people can drink, but if you're real serious about seeing what can happen, give it a go. You just might surprise yourself, okay? But you don't really need it as much as you think you do. Okay, what about sleep patterns, coach? Right, okay. This works, but it's not easy for everybody. Studies will always show that consistency in terms of the time we go to bed and the time that we awake, or get out of bed as I say, consistent works. So every day, a similar time to go to bed, similar time to get up. Now that's not ideal, it's not the same for everybody, and it's certainly not possible. You know, I'm not saying that you, you can't go to parties, you can't go to you know, social get-togethers. Of course you can't. You're just trying to have some form of consistency that's the higher percentage of days are similar, even on those days off. So maybe you can cut out some of those late night binging, watching, you know, Rambo, kick the shit out of people, some old cycling races, all these sorts of things, okay? Think about it, what's best for you, okay? So that's really key. I don't want to dive into the, the hacks of how to improve your sleep. We do that inside school. Okay, your zone two targets. This is essential, and if you're not developing your zone two power limits or the time you spend in zone two, right, you, you really have got your head in the sand, okay? Because the mitochondrial efficiency is key to longevity. It's key to health. Okay, your ability to improve the oxidization of fuels, to use oxygen, all the things that are linked to pushing up your VO2, they start, okay, with what happens inside that muscle cell. And that is super important. So, set a baseline today, now, from watching this video, and set yourself a zone two target, whereby you may improve your power, or you may improve the time spent in that zone in the next three months. Yeah, come back and let me know how you got on, because if you do it right, you're gonna unleash hidden treasures. Yeah, like Indiana Jones in about, what's he up to now, movie 15? I don't know, okay. Now, the next thing, easy to do, cold showers, right? You're trying to save money anyway on your, your electric bill or your fuel bill, so cold shower. You can do it hot and cold, you only need 30 seconds. I've done so many videos and we've talked about it, inside school, inside YouTube, 30 seconds per day. This is going to create a great reaction to your nervous system and help your capillary network. Also, I would add on to that, holding your breath under cold water. This is something I've done since a young boy. In fact, I once watched a documentary about free diving and about holding their breath. I then started to practice swimming underwater until I could do 25 meters and that has gone up and that is something that I still do. But sometimes I have to do it in a bucket or my uh, sink, which does amuse my family uh, from time to time. But breathing drills are something that has always been part of my training. Try them, okay? They do work. Right, okay, supplements can help. What you've got to understand is absorption levels, I've seen it at the highest level. Vitamin tablets, some athletes, they don't actually improve their absorption level. But a couple of things that are key especially for me and I share with other athletes, omega-3 and your B vitamins, especially nine and 12. Make sure you're getting them. And if you're getting older like me, I would supplement. You've got nothing to lose really by doing that, but make sure you go for one that works with you. Not something cheap you've bought online that you're just saving a couple of pounds or dollars on, okay? Be careful what you're adding in, okay? Now, the next thing is lean tissue. So as we get older, we're gonna lose this lean tissue. It's gonna move away faster from our body than our VO2 is gonna drop, okay? You're gonna lose it as fast as you lose your hair, okay? Now the thing is, it's easy to do. Posture drills every single day. So think of your posture, get some images of you on your bike, even of yourself walking. Have a look, get a direct feedback, become the best teacher in your life. Look in the mirror and say, this is for me. It's easy to do, but I would dial into that daily. Whether it is just push-ups or sit-ups or pull-ups, I don't care. It directly links to your health, which will directly link to your fitness and your body support on the bike, okay? And number 12, I think we've reached, fucking chill. Yeah, man, 
You've got to be like the Fonz, okay? Yeah. You've got to actually understand that the way that your body works in terms of its fight or flight and its rest and digest, it's super important that you can switch off. You can have that time whereby you are more relaxed. Now, maybe you've got a number of issues within your family, within your work, all sorts of problems that you can't find a solution to, and you feel as if you're the person that has to fix everything. There are always solutions to problems. If there's not, they're not a problem, okay? But it's hard sometimes to extract, remove ourselves away from that. But if you're looking to improve longevity of health, have better periods whereby you're not got a runny nose, a sore throat, feeling a little bit sniffly, that's then going to impact on your training. You have to improve your lifestyle because what have you got to lose? The off season is when you're dead. <laughs> and we don't want that. I want to help you. Okay, all you've got to do now, take half of them. Can you? You may already be doing half of them. Add a couple. There is no one more important than the other. I wouldn't say that. You've got to find your own path because I was watching The Sopranos and Tony Soprano says something like, why am I watching this movie? I don't care what happens at the end. It doesn't directly impact on me. We watch movies for enjoyment. Not everything has to be about us progressing because hobbies and activities that we do can help us get into that nervous system that allows us to rest and digest. Hey, if there's been anything in the video, hit that thumbs up button. Spread the love, as they say. Hey folks, I've covered them very briefly. You want more information? Jump into school, the link is in the description. We have a free community and then a very low paid community, the university for about $20 a month, where you're going to get training templates, nutrition plans, live workouts, and a lot more chitty chatty man, <laughs> okay? Anyway, you take care. Remember, anyone can train hard. There's only a few of us can train smart. Fix your lifestyle and your fitness will go up. Easy. <laughs>